But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Girl Gaming. We're going to be continuing our playthrough of Enderal uh, this afternoon and uh, yes, uh, I had a look at the, the graphic settings that I was using previously and uh, I discovered that in the launcher you can use something called One Tweak and uh, I've turned that on and I'm not sure, I might be entirely incorrect about this, but it looks better to me, the lighting. Uh, so. That seems quite interesting. Right, without further ado, let's continue onwards. Oh, I've been detected by something. Oh, it's that thing, whatever it is. Crap, I'm too far away. Alright, let's just give it a moment. He doesn't seem too phased by our presence, which is nice. Right, we're hidden at the moment, so just as a bit of an idea, let's grab the longbow. I think we need to favourite grounding. Uh, oop, there we go. Right, let's see what we can do here. That did not do a great deal of damage. All right, so let's uh, get, let's get grounding out. Oh god! Oh god! There you go. That's taking him down. Ooh, uh, <laughs> that was certainly interesting. Uh, the reason that I use grounding there is because lightning, uh, in theory, uh, whether this is actual fact or not, uh, this is an earth elemental. It's a mud. Uh, Elemental here. So, in, it's on the chest I want to loot. Why? There we go. Some coal, nails, and a plane. I don't think I need the plane or the nails, so I'll leave those. Yes, so in theory it would do more damage. Uh, it seems to have been the case, but uh, I'm not sure if that is actually a fact or whether just magic is very damaging in this mod, so. Uh, if anybody wants to correct me or let me know, I would be very grateful. I've got a corpse here. Amethyst. Uh, oh yeah, very nice. Have I already got shoes? I can't remember. Let's have, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, yes, that's the one. No, we haven't, so let's pop some shoes on. Doesn't look like there's really anything else here, so we can continue onwards. And it might be wise if we just uh, equip the longbow again, and we'll favourite the knife and the longbow. To Enderal. The magic school of entropy allows you to summon creatures from the other realities to fight for you, to trap the souls of your enemies into Pyrian crystals, and to unleash death magic upon your opponents. But be warned, as powerful as entropy may be, it is just as dangerous to its wielder. Ooh, interesting. How many charges a staff has depends on your knowledge of the entropy. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, what's that over there? I want to go to there. Uh, now, apparently if we collect some mana fungi and some pumpkins, it's a miniature quest, so uh, let's try and do that. The music in this is absolutely fantastic. absolutely love the music. don't really know what the mana fungi looks like. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Anything back here? We've got three of the required five. Oh, here's another one. Yes, good. So, hmm. Oh, ah, all right. So, mana fungi is the, uh, the little black toadstools. Okay. 
You hear me clacking against the keyboard a little bit. My apologies if you can. Oh, here's another one. There's only two at the moment, though. We do need a. Th What's this? Heals health instantly. Nice. Ah, oh, come on. There's got to be more mana fungi and things. It's, uh. If it's specifically asking us to do it, I can't see why there wouldn't be enough. That would just be... Oh, we've already collected those, haven't we? Is that one that we haven't collected, or...? There we go. Alright, so we got some, a little bit of extra XP for that. This music is fantastic. I hope, I hope you guys can hear it. If you can't, I apologise. You can actually download the soundtrack, so I believe. Ah, here we go. And we've leveled up. How very useful. Um, in this case, I think we probably want to raise our health. Because we have been a little bit weak, so we've done that. Uh, perhaps we should also meditate. So let's, uh, let's have a think about that and see if there's anything specific that we can increase. If too many quest targets appear on your compass, blah de blah de blah. Get rid of some of them. Uh, this, yeah, Shadow of the Wind. Uh, now, we thought about going down the Skilled Hands one, didn't we? So, the Strong Bowstring is... The memories of the trickster combine the effective use of a bow with lockpicking. Nice. Bows do 12% more damage and another 10% damage at Tier 2, so... Uh, I like that. Can I have another one? Oh no, I, I don't have a spare memory. I, I can check that by clicking uh, H. By clicking H. We've got no memory points. We've got three crafting points, five learning points, and we're level two. Um, and let's oh, let's just remind ourselves where we are here. Okay, so we've got to find a way out of the ravine. That's what we've got to do now. Found a way out of the derelict temple and got into a gorge. Seems as if I finally arrived in Enderal. Nevertheless, I feel weird. Where do these strange abilities which I suddenly have stem from? Magic? This power? Perhaps that dream, that near-death experience which I had before waking up in the bay is connected to all of that. In any case, I should try and find a way out of this gorge first. Then I will take it from there. Okay, right, and I think we just need to meditate again and we'll be back where we started. I mean, this game looks beautiful so far, it plays very well. I mean, Skyrim played well to begin with, so uh, we were expected that it was to be expected that building on a base like Skyrim, it would be okay. Um. But look at it! Compared to Skyrim, this is significantly more attractive, I would say. Um, uh, tell me if you disagree, but uh, the skyboxes, the mountains themselves, how lush and verdant the landscape is. It's, um, it seems much more saturated, to coin a word. Alright, let's go into the abandoned tower and see what we can do. Music is beautiful. I prefer these loading screens. Uh, there's a lot to be said for Enderal. The leveling system is... Uh, I'm not sure about it yet. I haven't uh, I haven't delved into it as much as I might do uh, at this point. But uh, let's just get the bow out in case. Okay, not detecting anything so far. Oh, flame bite. Some ancient crystal coins. Cup of an ancient nation. Let's just have a look up here. Nothing. Okay. Ooh. Another coin on the floor. Can't hear or see anything. That looks like a trap. Oh, look. What's that? Got a corpse here with some human flesh in. Alright, we'll uh, an old sword that could potentially be useful down the line and some ambrosiar. What does a magical symbol do? Oh, they're a collectible! Well, that's really cool. 
few more coins. Okay. Ah, oh, I like collectibles. What does this do? That goes to the Sun Coast. Okay. So let's um. Let's gain this guy's interest, <laughs> shall we? Uh, okay. Let's. Kiwi. Come on then. Hello. You coming? <laughs> well, that was quite amusing. And we got some troll fight out of that. Let's uh, let's avoid that trap and have a look in here. Now that the cave troll has been uh, subdued. Got some ar ar old iron arrows here. Another brittle longbow, which we'll take just in case it gives us the opportunity to sell it. Coin purse. Got an old vagrant dress as well. Let's just take a look at the uh, statistics of that. Well, interestingly, it's uh, it's got a similar armor value. I think I like the look of it better, so I'm going to wear it. And a potion of protection from shock. Okay. Anything else of interest in here? Lots of bones that we don't want. Oh god. Something that damaged me. Honestly, it doesn't look like we can get up there, so let's uh, call it quits on that. But can we get over here? Ooh. The skeleton itself is empty, but what's this? A staff of flames, a gout of fire that does five points of fire damage per second. Targets on fire take extra damage. Cool. And the Spell Tome of Boon. Now, we already have that, but it's worth taking the book, uh, as we can hopefully sell it at a later date. Alright, and let's just check that the longbow that we have is the same. It is, sadly. We've got 33 arrows, so we're doing absolutely fine. Oh, we're doing fine in that department. God, I nearly... <laughs> Hugs. <laughs> right, onwards. Oh, this game is beautiful. See a, a doggy over there. Oh god. Damaged me quite badly. Uh, I'm not doing nearly enough damage at this point. But we'll continue onwards. Uh, oh, we wanted to learn the flame bite, didn't we? So, uh, is it over here? Flame bite, there it is. Um, I think we've already learned that. Uh, the little eye indicator shows us that we have. Oh, dead guy. Corpse of a climber. Uh, there are some gloves that we didn't have before. Extra arrows. A life absorption spell. That sounds fascinating. So let's uh, let's pop the gloves on. Oops. Yes, excellent. Now it might be wise from our perspective if we just favorited the sword and unfavorited the knife for the moment. Uh, we're not doing any assassiny stuff at this point, so... And we'll learn a life absorption. That's something that uh, hopefully I'll be able to use. Let's favourite it, shall we? Favourite both of these. Oh, look at those. They look like massive crossbows. I think... Hmm. Oh, something's detected me. I don't know what. But, uh, yeah, that looks, certainly looks interesting. Alright, down we go. Uh, we're, we're once again hidden. It must be these little fellows, these pigeon things. Yeah.